Of course, as you know, this season is called Around the World where they were in Opera House Muscat. And we are bringing uh, famous artists uh, from all over the world to participate uh, in this season. We have a very diverse uh, program and a program that we're very uh, proud about. And always keeping in mind the high uh, quality, uh, that's our number one priority here in the Opera House Muscat. You asked about uh, the Arabic uh, performances. Arabic performances have uh, from all over the Arab countries, so all the way from Morocco to the Sultanate of Oman, we have ensured that we uh, involve as many um, uh, Arab countries as possible. And also the, um, the Arab performances this year have increased and they represent one third of our season. And we have some uh, star-studded performances like from Wa'al Kafuri, Nawal Kuwaitiya, Kadam al Sahar. We have a world uh, premiere uh, ballet and we also have uh, for the first time a full-scale uh, Arab uh, opera. So this sh should be a very uh, exciting season. We have some wonderful uh, programs in opera. We have uh, Prince Igor, A Night in Venice, uh, our co-production Lakme, La Triviata, Madame Butterfly. We have uh, Namaste India, which is a musical and dance show. We have some wonderful performances for children, which uh, encompass a puppet show of Sleeping Beauty and uh, uh, Paganini. We have uh, Opera on Ice. We have some wonderful ballets, Sleeping Beauty and Tokyo City Ballet, some wonderful concerts, and the list goes on and on. And we really made sure that we incorporate as many countries as possible so that our patrons will enjoy this journey around the world in 2018, 2019. Uh, there seems to be a lot of community involvement, especially with children. Yes. Could you tell us more about that? Our involvement with children is very important. Our education and outreach, I think, is at the core of what we do. Uh, this is something that can so, so easily be overlooked because one can be engulfed in the administrative side and the programs. But this is something that we always step back and come back to. What are we doing for the community? What are we, how are we involving the children? This is key to what we do. Uh, this year, we are going to involve uh, children uh, who have, uh, unfortunately, uh, cancer and children with special needs. We're going to involve them in our program. We're going to involve them in our performances. Uh, we're going to make the World Opera House very accessible to them. Um, and uh, we also have programs for, uh, for infants from six months to two years. We're including a babysitting program. Uh, this is not to say that we are always involving the schools, public and private schools, uh, in our performances and any performance that we can dedicate to them. We dedicate to them. We have more family uh, shows uh, for children because at the end of the day, it's the opera house that inspires them and they are the future, they are the future opera lovers. And it's not just opera, it's all the art forms that we display here in the Royal Opera House Masqat. We are also very, uh, uh, we are very concerned and we're very intertwined with our community. Uh, we uh, celebrated World Cancer Day by um, illuminating the, the Royal Opera House in the orange and blue colors. This was in collaboration with 140 countries. And we, our blood donation campaign was the most successful this year uh, with uh, 135 uh, donors. And we hope that in the coming years this number will increase. And we always look forward to working with our community.